All right, here's another ca- question from Cameron Nuss. He wants to know how long, if at all, before a man mission to Titan, would this be a public or private sector venture? Yeah. That's a long old way out there. Titans, that's a long old way. How long would it take to get to Titan, well, first of all? Uh, it would depends on your technology. rocket ship. Yeah, but, but we'll say I'm using one. A long I got time. It, How long would that take? Well, that's a long Cassini time. took five years, right? Yeah, that's a long time. So, five years. And this is uh, we don't have the technology right now to stay away from all that radiation. It's not clear how yeah, bad right. that is. How much radiation? Enough to kill you, which is you probably don't want. <laughs> Even to kill a baby <laughs> that maybe could adapt more. Yeah, and so on. Well, you that's have a not lot how of works. shielding. You try to make it better, but what if we said <laughs> babies that grew up and then no? Oh, it's a no, what you, no, that's not how they evolution have the diaper thing works. Down. You'd have they, to have they, a whole bunch of babies and see to, which one made it through. They'd have no trouble wearing diapers. Yeah. You can send, send Mass has do. been there. Send like a 12 year old, a bunch of 12 year olds that will grow up slowly during the mission. But what we You're would, a genius. Uh, yeah. You need to be, you need <laughs> to be talking to that congressman the in the other elevator. Thing, Mass, you, how much trouble did you have with bone loss, calcium loss? I'd only been, my trips were two weeks at a time, Bill. So it wasn't too bad. We've got that licked, we how, think, but we've much, got it licked through lots of exercise. How so much do you lose? You can lose a, a, a very significant amount if you did nothing yeah. in space, if you did not exercise. You could you would lose a lot. Uh, How much do you enough. exercise when you go there? So in, right now to counteract that, there is some medicine you can take, and that's again a benefit of the space program because it also applies to osteoporosis to prevent bone loss. Yeah. But still, the way we've gotten around that, we don't have bone loss. It's not an issue anymore. But what we have to do to counteract it is two hours of exercise, mm-hmm. six days a week. Oh wow! So that's so a lot that's of lost significant. Time. Yeah. It's a lot of time because we're you're on the payroll. How you're do you on exercise the payroll in space. There's machines with resistance. Yeah, so there's kind of it's feel. a good point because you can lift weights all you want and ain't going to do you any good in space, right? right. So what we have is we have wait a minute resistive that's exercise. That's crazy. You're like Hercules, Bill. Yeah, but it's uh, you we just have resistive have a machine exercise. that tries to crush you. And you that's try right. You try, like more in, or less. That's like what, basically like that. That's the way it's that's sometimes the way it's described when it's on the fritz. Be careful of the thing. But it works on springs and therabands, like you might have seen in, in rehab uh-huh. medicine. So it's resistive exercise, plus it's also a, a treadmill is generally mm-hmm. uh, a, a popular way to exercise. So it's both cardio and it's also resistive exercise. And, and it's resistive exercise that keeps your bones in good shape. <sighs> and to, to this questioner, yes. it's, it's a long way. And who's paying for it? It's a lot of fuel. 